I put the seagull on the bench so that I can top the oil up. Um, according to the manual, you put it tank side down. We haven't got the tank on at the moment, but uh, it's lying down flat. Now we need to take the drain plug out, which I've loosened off. And uh, I've read in the manual that you fill it up just below the filler plug level. Apparently, um, the bushes inside the gearbox are designed to uh, let a little bit of water pass. They can survive because they're phosphor bonds. Even with a bit of water mixing with the oil causes a bit of emulsion, which is why we had that coffee coloured goo that we took out of it originally. And apparently even a bit of oil um, is permissible to leak past the bearing. So I'm a little bit loath to put it in there because it's going to drip oil from this point on. But we need to uh, put something in there because I'm going to fire it up later and give it a go. So here we go, I'm going to top it up and this is our AP140 gear oil that I was sent. Some fairly thick stuff. There we go. Now the tricky thing is I've got a little bit too much in there. I have to take a bit out. So I've slightly overfilled that. So I'll take a bit out. There you go, that's a bit more like it. In order to get it out, what I did was I squeezed the bottle um, so it was ready to suck, push the nozzle in and then let the uh, the bottle expand and just suck a little bit off the top. Sorted. I'm put the filler back in. Let's give it a quick wipe off. Not a lot of excess there. Just going to give it a little tweak with this, but I'll tighten it out properly in a bit. And there we have it. It's the oil topped up. Spark plug next. This is our new Champion Copper Plus spark plug. Uh, looks like a D16 according to the packet. And there we have it, brand spanky new D16 Champion. So, all looks good in our spark plug hole. Pop that in. Got ourselves a spanner here. It fits it quite nicely. Just lightly nip it up. Nothing too serious. And then we've got this part to go on. So this is as simple as just a spade connector down in there that lines up or should line up with a little threaded nut that goes on the top. So we've got to take this piece off. Oh. And right, we come back with some off pliers. This nipple off with some pliers. Put that there. And then we've just got to get this lined up. It's going to need two hands for this. This just screws on like this. I've rerouted this bit here so it doesn't interfere with the throttle cable. Um, total confidence that we're going to have a spark and it's all going to work first time, which I severely doubt, but um, let's be optimistic. I better do this bracket up as well. I'll pop that on. I think I'll probably leave it in that orientation at the back. Uh, tank on, flywheel on. And then we can put some fuel in. We have that tank that I got off of that other engine. As you can see, um, it's not too bad at all really, considering it's in original condition. It's a few dings and bits and pieces, but it certainly doesn't warrant cleaning off and uh, putting back to black. I think we'll keep this one in all its original glory. So uh, I've polished it over with a bit of water glim, pinched from my other half's car cleaning kit. Uh, I've blown the air, the uh, tap out with the, with the airline just to make sure there's nothing bunging it up. It's all been washed out with a bit of, um, I use a bit of light caustic soda just to break down any gunk that might be in there. And uh, it's been allowed to dry out in the sun because we've had some nice weather for the last couple of days. 
so it should be all good to go. Got the original washers here that we're gonna put up on there. There's another one. And those can go on here. And then I'll drop the tank on and bolt it on. There we go with our fuel tank. Let's pop it on. Goes on there like that. Cleaned up our glass nuts. I'm going to take this spark plug off again already just so we can see what we're doing. And here we go. Snip it up. Great stuff. That looks really nice. So now we're going to put the fuel pipe on. That goes between this part. And, and we have the fuel pipe. Right angle piece on there. And the other piece where the fuel tap is. So we just screw that on like that. And then this one on like this. Let's try it the other way around. That end it on there loosely. And let's try this, see if this works any better. Yes. There we go. So again we'll just nip that up. Not too tight because it's only brass. And the same on this side. to nip it up okay and that's it uh, all we got to do now is put that flow wheel on okay it's time to put the flow wheel back on you can feel the nerves building I'm starting to wonder whether it will start or not but before we get to that point let's get this on and bolted up okay so that goes on there according to the manual the domed nut takes approximately 20 to 22 foot pounds of torque to keep that on. Just going to nip it up for now. I'm not going to go too mad, and then I'll adjust it later in case it needs to come back off for whatever reason. You never know. That's on there. Things are turning. We've not got anything jamming mechanically, which is good. So put the spark plug back on. Spark plug cap. Seems to be doing its thing. I put some fuel in the tank. I've mixed my fuel. 25 to 1. I've used uh, my container here, which is marked to 500 mils. And I've used uh, conveniently a little baby uh, medicine syringe just to get the right amount of oil in there. 25 to 1 ratio. So let's see whether we can get this in without making a mess. I'm going to leak it out. Check all my connections. So far, so good. And there we go. It's half a litre of fuel in there. It's a three-point tank, I believe. Looking at this tank compared to my old tank, the original tank for this has got these 
nipples they're basically brass rods that go up through and they support the side of the tank they are on the outside on my on the tank that was designed for this one uh, probably to protect the tank from dents so in this design they're on the other side so I'm going to have to be extra careful when taking the engine off when I'm lying it down not to damage the tank anymore right. just to fill a cap on the fuel tap let's pull that on see what happens okay again looking for leaks let's tickle the carb a bit see if we can get some fuel dribbling out of the carburetor Here's another vital piece of kit that turned up in the post today from John at Save Old Seagulls and that's a pool starter. Uh, they recommend that you only use something that's uh, designed for this job with the right size cord. Um, the reason for that being is if it jams in the flywheel and doesn't come loose when you pull it, you land up with a piece of cord with something fairly hefty on the end whizzing around and possibly taking chunks out of the back of your hand or even worse the side of your head so yeah um, thought it would be well worth the four pound or whatever it was to get something that looks like a proper job what I've learned since uh, I embarked on this little project uh, is the method that I took used to take the flywheel off uh, wasn't the right way to do it using a puller I've been told since is um, fairly dangerous because you can pull these flywheels apart they're not that strong uh, in that direction anyway so what you're meant to do is take the spark plug out, uh, put something down in the spark plug uh, hole onto the piston lightly, get it at bo bottom, uh, bottom dead centre, so the piston is right down, lock it till you find it in the right position. Then you get an assistant to lift the flywheel wheel up so it's away from its seat and hold it there and then using one blow quite a hefty blow from what I've read you then um, after you've loosened this dome nut off slightly give it a good firm whack on the top there and uh, whilst your assistant is lifting it up that should be enough to displace the taper inside of here and push it down so that's the correct method um, I believe I may have gotten away with it but um, <laughs> it's not really the right way to do it okay so we're gonna give it a bit of a try and see whether we can get it to start and uh, see what happens next so we'll put our new cord in here wrap it around okay we'll find a partial sort of setting for the choke on might take a few times just to get a bit of fuel into it and let's give it a try Sounds promising.